What's good, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Banana's Podcast. Now, yes, I am aware that this video is two days late, but hey, for y'all do that, don't that know from my Instagram post, then y'all know. But if y'all don't, then I'm just gonna explain like this. Early, earlier on that same day, I was trying to record, but yes, and I went wrong with the video, so into which I, I'm redoing it right now. So here I am. But mainly, let's get to the topic right now. Basically, about Baker Mayfield. Now, I'm so happy that. Uh, my Panthers finally got um, Baker Mayfield as a quarterback now because I've been waiting so long for like a, a response or like for a notification that says Hey Baker Mayfield was here or hey Baker Mayfield was here because it was so so tight with me to ask that like I'm just wondering like will my Panthers get Baker Mayfield or will they get someone else? Because like, don't get me wrong, I'm happy that we got Matt Corral and whatnot but on the other, on the other hand I don't I, I I, I know that he's ready. I know that he's ready. Don't get me wrong. I know that Matt Corral's ready, but I just think that like, like as a as a rookie, and we've seen this many before in the league, but like because like as a rookie, you seem ready, but at the same time, you might not be ready. Like not to throw any shade, but like let's take a um, Sam Darnold for example. He was good for like a few games in this rookie season, but he then slid down, went, went straight down in, in the ditch. Then we get him. He, he he did good for like what two, three games or whatever. And then once again, it goes straight down. So in terms of like as a rookie, if you get put, like it's it's a struggle and it's a lot of pressure on the person. So into it, point blank, I think that like we should like you know like. Keep him ready and active and training and make sure that he's, he, he understands like the uh, playbook or whatever. But back onto the home, whole Baker Mayfield thing about how like ever since I heard that Deshaun Watson was going to the Browns, I was wondering, okay, so does that mean that Baker Mayfield is going to be a backup or is he going to leave? But, but, but then I hear about how like how Baker Mayfield is going or is wanting to be traded. So it's I'm like, okay, so this may be good. And this was way before the draft came. So into it, I'm just thinking, okay, we got to get a good veteran quarterback to where we know that we can at least make a playoff run. And I'm like, hey, why not either Beckham Minifield or Jimmy Garoppolo? Since I knew that he wanted to be traded or, or would have been traded or was on the verge of being traded or whatever. But sadly, that didn't happen to that fact. Sadly, that didn't happen. So into which, fast forward to like, uh, to go to the NFL draft, I was just then thinking, okay, so who, 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 who on the draft board are the quarterbacks? So into which I got the names like Kenny Pickett, Malik Willis, and uh, obviously um, Matt Corral and uh, Sam Howell or whatever. I, I, I think I can't. I I don't, I don't remember the name. I don't remember the last name honestly. So in, in, into which, if I'm butchering the name, please help me out. And I'm sorry that I, uh, <laughs> I said that I missaid that name, but hey, me. But anyway, like in the draft, I was thinking, okay, who are we gonna get? Because the main two people that I really understood was Malik Willis and Kenny Pickett. So into which, like, I'm just thinking, okay, Kenny or Malik, Kenny or Malik, and then we get um, Ikeen, which at this at, at that time I was upset that I thought I was really looking for a for a quarterback. But yeah, then I looked at Ikeen's um, highlights. I was like, hmm, okay, this actually seems like a Promising, uh, what's that? Offense or defensive line players. So into a chance to think, thinking, okay, that seems good. That seems good. That's a good pick. And then I see Matt Corral get picked up, and I was like, yes, got yourself a quarterback. Let's train Sam Darnold. Let's do something with uh, P.J. Walker or whatever, and 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 we're, we're going to have have Matt Corral as a starter. Until now, to where now I'm just I'm just I, to where now or two days ago. I finally find out that Baker Mayfield is with my Panthers and honestly I am so so happy now. Comment down below what y'all think about it because I honestly think it's a good fit to add the fact that like he's because he's one of the few remaining players or at least a few remaining quarterbacks that the Browns has, has had to ever help the Browns get to this uh not so cool, the, at least a playoff and win the playoff ever since the 1990s or whatever or 80s I don't know which year I just know that the, that the last time before that one time when they went up against the, uh, 
went up against the Steelers. It was somewhere around like in the 1990s or 1980s. Like I don't know much. Right? So, like I was born, I'm born, I was born in the early 2000s, right? So I don't really know much about that. But if you who, for those who may know about that, they all know. But yeah, like I'm I'm really happy about I'm really happy about Baker Mayfield being on the team. I'm glad that he's a Panther now. I'm glad that 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 he's going to get to play on a team and and. Probably that that might probably mean he's gonna have more commercials, but this time in our stadium, he's been in two more commercials in our stadium. And for anyone who's thinking about like like uh, Robbie Anderson, I can honestly care less. All right, I like 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 I wish the best for him, but at the same time, that you can't you can't really say that that you can't really say that you don't want Baker Mayfield to talk about some. Oh, I was just defending. My, 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 my quarterback to blah 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 knowing good and well that we we have multiple we have I, I have seen the highlights on the sidelines of him was it cutting Sam Darnold out or or, 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 or for real be, being upset or cutting him out or, or being mad at him for something I don't really remember much I just know that he uh uh was was frustrated and whatnot and should we get him more uh, emotional from time to time but at the same time like which one is it going to be? Are you defending him, or you, do you dislike this person to a certain extent? And Steve Smith, <laughs> look, I Steve Smith was one of the people, was one of the players that I. He was one of the people. He was one of the players. He, he was the reason why I, I became a Panther fan. Next to Cam, Cam Newton, shout out to them. Uh, he was one of the main reasons why he was one of the reasons why I became a Panther fan. But at the same time, uh, Steve Smith, I love you, but I disagree with your statement on that no about the whole Baker Mayfield thing and talking about some no when we all knew good and well that like 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 if if we put Sam Darnold in again as starter with him be, already being fully trained or not being fully trained. That means two things. Now go be in the playoffs anytime soon, and that and that rule will be fired. And honestly, like like I I have a little bit of hope in that dude. So it's which I'm I'm I'm, I, I'm like okay, this is probably his final chance. And all I'm saying is that like if we don't get to the play, at least probably make it to the playoffs and either win or don't win or at least just make it to the playoffs. Period. Like if we don't, he's fired. And I honestly, I, I'm still, I'm still so much scarred from, scarred from like seeing Robert Rivera get fired or whatever, or got released that one year, and then goes to Washington, <laughs> goes to Washington. But yeah, that's that's that is that's it, man. Like that is all that that I'm gonna say here about Baker Mayfield and the whole Baker Mayfield trade situation. I'm really, really glad about that. That. Browns and Baker Mayfield while we give them some draft picks said by um, the Locked On Panther podcast shout out to him uh, microphone shout out to him as well and uh, which one was it? it was either Ian Rappaport or Tom Pilisaro that also said the information and the uh, uh, Pat McAfee shout out to all of those people and uh <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And I'm sorry that this is two days late, but hey, I had some stuff going on. And shout out to every single person who was born in July, June, and any other month that probably missed. All right, happy birthday to all of y'all and and whatnot. <laughs> Not shout out, but happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday to all of y'all. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Roll to 10K, and uh, I'll probably. Do another episode next week. I don't. I, I don't know. It depends on what, how much time I have on my hands. But uh, yeah. God bless. Roll to 10K. Catch you guys next time. Love y'all.